Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24 7 and today I'm bringing you yet another crazy Shopify research tool that finds $1,000 day products in just two minutes and this is for Shopify dropshipping. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and jump into it. Alrighty guys, so today's tool is called watchcount.com. So this tool essentially finds some of the most popular items on eBay as voted by eBay users, some of the most highest rated watch counts on different items on eBay and this is perfect for Shopify dropshipping because a lot of people that sell products on Shopify are also uh, selling products on eBay like a lot of the top dropship products are also top drop shipped on eBay in comparison to Shopify so this is a good way that you can do some research for finding different dropshipping products that are going to be uh, top selling most watched things that people are very interested in depending on any kind of niche so all you have to do here is come to this website called watchcount.com Com, and it will pull for you the most popular eBay items depending on whatever you search for so you can pretty much search for any kind of niche on this website in the keyword section here uh, and you could also select categories these are the different categories that are available on eBay although I'd probably recommend just searching for certain niches instead of going based on their categories and then you can also select uh, the different type of region that you want to select just depending on if you're trying to run Facebook ads to like a certain type of location Location, you could select that as well, although I'd probably just recommend selecting US for most people, uh, but you could select UK, AU, CA, you know, depending on if you wanted to run ads to a specific um, country and finding what's more top selling in those countries in comparison. So that also has that option for you as well. So just for the example today, I'm going to be searching through a different uh, few different niches. And so the first one we're going to take a look at is just Pitbull in general. So for the Pitbull niche, just dogs. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look there and see what uh, products come up here. So as you can see for this niche for this um, sub niche of dogs uh, a lot of different people are kind of into the spiked collar thing with leather collars and stuff like that. So obviously, you know, pit bulls are kind of known as being tough as well as being nice and friendly. So like people like to kind of play on that thing where, oh, they're so tough, you know, and then people like to get these spiked collars for them. So, you know, obviously these are um, high, very high watch counts and you can see the pricing that people are selling them at. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you don't want to really sell these products for the same price that they're selling for on eBay because people generally price things lower on eBay eBay like a lot lower so you might see this product uh, selling for only $12.99 on eBay but you could probably sell that maybe for like $20 $25 on your Shopify store uh, just because you have like the branding and people are finding you through like Instagram or Facebook people aren't really concerned with the price as much whereas on eBay people are trying to like compare price match and stuff like that almost like Walmart in a way so you know a lot of people that are selling on eBay typically work on lower margins they will bulk order items from AliExpress to dropship so I wouldn't try and compete with these kind of pricing go for a higher pricing model when you are finding uh, these products so all you have to do if you wanted to take a look at one of these let's take a look at the vest first all you have to do is click on it and it'll take you straight to that ebay selling page so as you can see there's a ton of them sold uh, and they have a lot available so this uh, seller obviously is just ordering these in bulk from aliexpress now the way that you can find a lot of these products is all you have to do is right click it and then click search google for image and so what you're doing here is doing reverse image search so as you can see a lot of it pops up on petco PetSmart. If we scroll through here as you can see AliExpress is one that pops up so you're basically reverse image searching so you're finding where this image is on other websites as well like I said all you do right click and click search Google for image and it will then pop up with this and it'll bring you over here to AliExpress if you wanted to find it and as you can see it brings you straight to AliExpress with different kinds of collars so obviously it might be a little bit of work to find the exact collar that they're they, they are selling but I assure you it is definitely possible to find it it just may take a little bit of work but regardless you know finding different products you might find another variant of the same type of product that might also just be almost very comparable to it it might not be the exact same product but you could still also sell it so like say for example the spiked collar right let's go ahead and just search for like spiked dog collar and I'm sure you'll be able to find something very very similar so as you can see stuff kind of similar there spiked dog collar yeah that's pretty much the exact same one 
as uh, as this one. I mean, it's very close, if not, you know, pretty much exactly the same. Because this is where people are finding their products. This is where people are sourcing their products from. As you can see, lots and lots of orders here. This is obviously a popular item. And all you have to do then is just add this to your Oberlo. And it's in your import list on your Shopify store. Very easy to do that. So as you can see, you know, these products are, they're buying them probably for like $1.83 a piece. I mean, very, very cheap. 275 now people that usually sell on ebay do order in bulk so that's why they're able to sell it for a lower price because they don't have to really um pay like they they don't they don't operate on as much as drop shipping per order they more so order in wholesale amounts so they get cheaper prices on their products that's why they're able to sell it for lower prices and still make a lot of money uh, you could go that route as well, but with Shopify, I'd recommend that you just um, charge more for your products because, you know, you'll be able to get more money out of people, especially when you're selling it on social media and stuff like that. People aren't as concerned with the price, like I said. So uh, as you can see, lots and lots of spike collars for this. So let's go ahead and take a look actually at another niche as well, just to show you guys the expansiveness of this website. I mean, you could pretty much search for any kind of keyword that you want as well on here and find different products products that would be nice to add to your store whether you already have a store or you know trying to find some like popular products that would be good for your niche so another type of niche we're going to take a look at then is another dog niche uh the french bulldogs so let's just go ahead and search there we are going to be looking at another niche as well that's not related to dogs uh, but dogs are just an easy one to try and find products for so as you can see with french bulldogs lots of people are into these iphone cases here with the little dog pop-up Lots of these rings. I've seen these exact rings on AliExpress. Wow, they're selling them for super cheap on eBay, but um, you could get these on AliExpress for pretty much the same price and then sell these for you know upwards of $10. And as you can see, they even have them for, for other dog breeds as well, not just the French Bulldogs. So that's another product right there that's obviously selling well with 316 different watchers. So let's go ahead and take a look at maybe like the vegan niche, okay? Let's just, you know, pop around on different niches. So let's see what comes up. Ah, see, a lot of uh, beauty stuff uh, comes up for the vegan keywords. So that's something to keep in mind. Sometimes certain keywords will pop up with other things. Maybe um, you search for, like, vegan shirt or something like that. Maybe if you want to sell different types of T-shirts. Uh, yeah, see, that could work right there. 518 watchers. Plants are friends. So if you were doing a print-on-demand type store and you could just recreate that design on uh, a graphic design software and then go ahead and resell that shirt because it's pretty much straight AliExpress anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So you can see these like <laughs> very popular um, t-shirt designs for vegan people. Um, these are kind of like, they like kind of like the drawing designs based on the fact that there's like two different drawing types of like light fonts. You know, you can kind of see the type of shirts that sell within certain niches. So, you know, you could search t-shirt for really anything there too. Uh, another niche we could take a look at is possibly um, just like the hammock niche. Let's see what kind of pops up for hammocks. So as you can see, lots of different stuff here. I mean, this is pretty much, you could search any kind of niche here. You could search cats as well. And you're going to find like top selling products within that niche. And you could try and find uh, different products that are basically the same on AliExpress, if not the exact same products. So guys, if you have not started your Shopify stores yet, I do have a Shopify 14 day free trial link down in the description box below. If you want to support the channel, you go ahead and click that link down in the description box. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, what the heck are you doing? Hit that dang subscribe button, hit that notification bell as well so you get notified for future videos, uploads, and all that good stuff. Leave a like, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. But anyway guys, that's all for today's video. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.